We're now going to look at how to use the Venn diagram for probability. Instead of having a universal set, the rectangle represents something that we call the sample space. The rectangle contains every possible event that can happen when we perform a probability experiment. Probability experiment sounds grandiose, but may be just as simple as rolling a die. S therefore represents everything that can happen. If we were rolling a die, S would represent the numbers 1 to 6. If we were tossing a coin, S would represent the outcomes head or tail. In this context, using Venn diagrams for probability, A and B are termed events. And we'll use an example to explain exactly what this means. We roll a standard fair die. Therefore, our possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And so these must go somewhere within the rectangle. A is the event I roll an odd number. So if we look at A, odd numbers must go in here. B is the event I roll a prime number. So prime numbers must go within here. If we consider the set A, it contains the odd numbers between 1 and 6. If we consider the event B, it contains the prime numbers between 1 and 6. Three and five are in both sets, so must go in the intersection where we can see they are within both A and B. Two must go in here and one in here. The four and the six are neither in A nor B, but they are in S so they go in this outside area. You can see that using the Venn diagram for probability is very much the same as using it for sets, except in some of the examples, instead of putting the actual outcomes within the events, we'll put the probabilities.